together so that you can have a space to perform. And so you've got sort of a business relationship with the councilman? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't well. call it exactly yeah, call that. that. Yeah, I mean, the councilman has been helpful with directing me to the right people so I can get the kind of the, the services that I need and the licenses that I need. So he's been really helpful to us, and I think we have a lot to be grateful to him for. Some of us, maybe. Hmm. Well, what does that mean? Would you do me a favor and maybe give him a seat? No, no, that's all right. You're just sit right that's here, all right. You can sit here. Okay, Mr. Alexander, we can get the information a different way. I know you, you know me, I know how to get what I need from you. Oh my right. God, he's scaring me. I guess I'm going to be well, stuck. Well, no, I don't want to scare. I don't know why I wasted my time with you bunch of faggots anyway. I'm out of here. Faggots? Oh. Honey, this was no faggot when she I was with you. I bet you honey. Hey, Brandy, what do you want? Um, remember, you're under contract tonight. I just came by to make sure that you make it. I know I'm under contract, and I was just getting ready. And Jody's there already, doing the wigs for the girls. So you can go now, Terry. Not so fast, babe. Not so fast. I gotta talk to you. Well, what the hell do you want? You know, it's been a long time since we've tricked. Oh, no, baby. I don't play with small things anymore. Oh, really? Well, do you think this is small? Terry, don't you fuck this is small? Now get in the bedroom, bitch. Get in the bedroom before I cut you from ear to ear. I don't care about all your wheeling and dealing. We just needed a rubber Let me ask you something, baby. Where'd you get your liquor license, huh? Who made the phone calls? You did. Damn Skippy. But that has nothing to do with the fact that now you're indicted, and now we got to cover up all this money. I don't know what money you're talking about. Okay. If yes, you got you some do. fingerprints on that money, if you touch that money, oh. then that's your headache. Bro. I had nothing we to got, do with We got a lot of fingerprints and a lot of paperwork to cover our asses. So. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, for your ass, you're going to need a big garbage bag. That's what I think. And for your ass, we're gonna need to do a big one, so. Brandy, stop crying. Get up, get dressed. Come on, put your makeup on. We need you to look pretty tonight for tonight. No. What do you mean, no? Leave me alone. I feel like doing anything with my eye blackened like this. Listen, do you want to get hit by a car again and this time not survive? What are you talking about? <laughs> God, I don't believe this. You know, you faggots are all alike. All you're good for is just relieving me of my sex load. <laughs> well, how about if I change that? Sorry, 
I'm sorry, Terry. Terry. Oh my God. What did I do? Oh my God. Hello, operator. Operator. I need the number to Marcus Dubois. He's a lawyer in the Bronx. Thank you so much. Please hurry. Marcus, Marcus, please, I need you right away. Please come over. Something's happened. I need you right away. Please come over to the house. You know where I live. Please, it's very important. Something bad is very hot. It's, it, it's just, I'm, please hurry. Terry. Marcus. All right, now what do you want that's so damn right? I'm not in the mood for your games. Marcus, it's no game. I killed him. I killed what? him. What? What are you talking I about? I lost my temper. He said something, and I know I killed him. He's dead. I know he's dead. Ooh, what are you talking about? Follow me. I'll show you. He's dead. I know he's dead. I didn't mean to. He just... I just lost it because he said some things that I just lost it. All right. I didn't calm, mean calm to down, do this. Calm down. Oh, God, forgive me. Please. He's not dead. He's not dead. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Help, help me get him on the bed a little bit. Now, get me a cold, wet washcloth. Believe this. How did this happen? What happened? What happened? He raped Randy? me, Marcus. He what? He raped me. He and raped you? And after he raped me, he told me he was the one that hit me with the car. Hit, hit you? Hit you with a car in here? No, Marcus. A couple of days ago, I was hit by a car. It was a hit and run. And he told me after he raped me that he was the one that was driving the car. So you, you're trying to tell me that? He hit you with a car, and then he raped you? Yes, Marcus. He was the one that raped me. You don't believe me, do you? Listen, all I see is a desperate, has-been drag queen so in need of love that she lures this hot man into her apartment, and when the hot man doesn't give her what she wants, she tries to kill him. Marcus, you're a hot man. That's not my type. You know that. He raped me. Well, it was self-defense. We know how desperate you can get. It was self Defense. All right, I can't right. go to jail. All right. Calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. But you, you, you do need to get a lawyer, Brandon. Will you, you be my lawyer? Marcus, please, you got to be my lawyer. I did not kill him. I did not try to kill him. Well, he raped me. All right. But on one little condition. What condition? Tell me everything you know about Councilman Davenport. I'm sure he's not dead. He's fine. Okay, just so you know, he's my manager. Your manager? His name is Terry. All right, listen. You you just go to your night of 12 gowns. I'll take care of everything, okay? You sure you will, Marcus? I'm sure. Everything's fine. Just remember, though, that whatever, everything that happened tonight between you and me is between you and me only, okay? Thank you, Marcus. All right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>